Amadil Kumar. Here is an extension to our previous question on simple pendulum. The question is, a pendulum swings through an arc of 38 centimeter. On each successive swing, the length of the arc is 98% of the previous length. Find the total distance that the pendulum would have swung after 10 swings. And part B is, when it stops, what total distance will the pendulum have swung? You can pause the video, answer these questions. As we understand, this movement of the pendulum, 38 centimeter, and then returning, 98%, and then kind of, again, 98% of the previous one, gives you the length of the swings as, uh, let me write them down. We start with 38, right? The next swing will be 38 times 0 0.98 and then be 38 times 0 0.98 times 0 0.98. So I could write like this and so on. So in this case, what do we observe? We observe that we are working with a geometric series, right? So we have a geometric series where the first term A is equal to 38 and the factor by which it is multiplied, r, is equals to 0 0.98, correct? And that gives you the formula for the nth term and also sum of terms. Now in this question, we need to find total distance that the pendulum would have swung in 10 swings, right? So we know n is 10 and the formula for the distance is s of n equals to a times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r, correct? So we'll apply this formula and answer the question. I hope that is clear so you can pause the video, answer the question. So the answer will be 10th swing, total distance will be a is 38 times 1 minus 0 0.98 to the power of n which is 10 divided by 1 minus 0 0.98 right so we can use the calculator to calculate let's calculate this it is 38 within brackets 1 minus 0.98 to the power of 10 bracket close divided by within brackets 1 minus 0 0.98 and that is equals to 347.56 so that is 347.56 right so that is the approximate distance which is it is going to travel and we could write this as 347.6 units or centimeters, correct? So that is our answer. Now, for the second part, which is when it stops, what total distance will the pendulum have swung? Now, at that time, it will literally never stop. So we'll say n approaches infinity. So n approaches infinity. So in that case, the sum will be this part r to the power of n where we know n is less than 1.98 i mean r is less than 1.98 so 0.98 to the power of infinity is going to approach zero so we have r to the power of n will approach zero therefore the formula changes to a over 1 minus r right so let's substitute the values so a is 38 divided by 1 minus 0 0.98 right so which is 0 0.02 so we'll do this as 38 divided by within brackets 1 minus 0 0.98 which is equal to 1900 right so so it will be 1900 centimeters will be the total distance with the pendulum is going to cover before it comes to a total stop. I hope that helps. 
I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.